Hello, Republic of Gamers, and welcome to ROG Pulse. My name is Jake Kalinske, and this week we've got Jerome and Becca joining us from headquarters, and we're talking about the newly refreshed Strix Scar and Strix G17. If I could talk straight, that'd be great, as I have a mouthful <laughs> of delicious coffee. Uh, Jerome, Becca, welcome, welcome, guys. How are you? Thank you, Jake. Hi. We're fine. How are you? Oh, I'm, I'm good. We just got dumped with a lot of snow this week. And I just got oh. a G17 <laughs> oh, wow. in the mail today, so I'm I'm thrilled to, to jump on in and learn all about this device today, but also to stream with it tomorrow. It's going to be a week full of glorious, glorious gaming. But um, yeah, uh, let's let's kind of get to introductions. Jerome, you joined us for our CES special, but a lot of people haven't seen that. How long have you been at ASUS, and what do you do at ASUS? I'm actually a senior technical uh, marketing specialist, and I've been at ASUS for about a year and a half now. Nice. And basically, among other things, I mostly focus on the Strix product line as well as the Cephas G15. So that means you so get to play is... with the most powerful laptops we make, basically, right? Yeah, some of them, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's very exciting. <laughs> very cool. Becca, welcome. How about you? What's your story? Yeah, um, so I'm, I'm actually the new addition to the team, fresh off the boat, um, just in <laughs> six weeks, actually. Yeah, so um, I'm, now I'm like at a trans transition stage. Uh, I used to work at a PR agency. I used to work for like PR campaigns for Xbox. It's actually really different from working on the brand side because uh, for Xbox, like you focus, people focus on titles more on like which titles are on the platforms and I like see. ray tracing and stuff. And like for the PC industry, it's pr pretty different because you focus on the whole whole ecosystem and talk about more like technical parts yeah it's pretty different so i'm still learning from the experts <laughs> here it's also a pretty crazy time to join because like you know ces just yeah, i'd say uh, that's probably ended. the most the most yeah. crazy time to join because <laughs> yes, you're getting thrown very... into the, the world of pc yeah. gaming during ces yeah pretty pro challenging yeah. but learning from the best pro tips don't join me before <laughs> ces <laughs> uh, well welcome aboard good to have you and today Thank we are going to be diving deep into both the SCAR and the Strix G series. And, you know, the overlay says Strix G17 because that is the biggest dog of the group, but it, we are going to show off everything. Mm -hmm. And, you know, let's just jump right to it. So the Strix SCAR, the overview, we have it here. Jerome, walk me through it. What is this dis device? So basically, it's a, let's say, all-in performance device. So it's really aimed at esports or, like, people who really want to get the best out of their machines. And yeah, especially the SCAR, we added some really, really cool features this year. We have a brand new CPU, a brand new GPU. We also get brand new display choices with the world fastest display. So it's really, really exciting for you guys. It's got it all. I mean, we can see some of the, the, the basic stats there <laughs> on the screen, the RTX 3080. Uh, in the SCAR, we're looking at the Ryzen 9 5900 HX, 64 gigs of RAM, two terabyte SSD inside. Um, I mean, it's it's really as much as you could ask for. On top of that, you mentioned 360 yeah. hertz display. We'll dive into all of those details as we go through. What thing about this makes you the most excited? Like, is there one component that you like more than any other? For me, it was definitely the, the new display and the, the optical mechanical keyboard, which is, in my opinion, amazing. It's really responsive. It really feels great when I play Valorant or when I play CSGO. It's, it's really awesome. Yeah, we can talk about it more later. Yeah, we'll show it off. I mm. even have a, a prototype of yep. the keyboard. Where it's it's here. <laughs> very you soon. See very soon. A closer look. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, so when we, when we <laughs> look at the, the different <laughs> series of laptops that we make, we have the Strix line, which has been around forever. We've got Tough and we've got Zephyrus. Um, yep. Is Strix like the core gamer line? If Is that a good way to describe it? Definitely, definitely. It's really for the hardcore esport players. You've got those in your face RGB, which are really cool. I really love those RGBs. It's everything a gamer would dream, uh, dream for. Pretty much. Yeah. Love to hear it. And now we also um, we also improve the portability. So yeah, what it's else actually can you, you the know? size is actually <laughs> down like uh, zero point three kilograms. In weight, on okay. Each device, yeah, in weight. That's good. I mean, we're always yeah. trying to improve the performance, improve the cooling, and reduce the weight. Mm -hmm. And I've said this a million times in the show. I have a five-year-old with a 2015 ROG laptop, and that thing is a backbreaker. It is huge. 
it was one of our <laughs> desktop replacements. This was way back before I was even part of Asus. Um, but man, that thing is a beast. But okay, let's uh, let's take a physical look at the the actual device. Let's show sure. off this bad boy, yep. the scar. So here I have the 17 inch, and I also brought a 15 inch, so we can see the size difference. There you go. You want to put it like this? Yeah, yeah, you can stack them. So it's the 15 and the 17. So let's start from the the back. You wanna? The back. You wanna start? I mean. Okay. Yeah, sure. So on the A part, on the lid, you actually got this very like um, high prom uh, high performance, high precision laser mm -hmm. etched uh patterns here so this the machine actually works at a very high degree like uh 500 something degrees and then it's actually uh higher than the usual mm -hmm. like 200 and uh 200 300 degrees laser machine so it's actually give it the lighter pattern here so you can see it's pretty like shimmering and exquisite here yeah and uh there's also on uh, on the back you can see a lot of air openings which like we improved mm -hmm. this year and you can see the rubber bands here and here you got like easter eggs on those rubber bands too you can see like uh there are the date there is a date maybe you can zoom it in yeah, <laughs> try to how do I do bring it? it up for a bit okay yeah so here you can see um oh you, yeah i back can back on top yeah yeah back on top and here is the for those who dare mm -hmm. yeah these are quite the catchy phrases of our brand and this uh here you can see the uh this is actually the date the, date, the, the establishment date, of yeah, the republic of establishment Gamer. of the rog brand here so quite a lot of easter eggs going on here oh, that's cool mm -hmm. yeah and also on the side you have easter eggs i think it's on the the exhaust you can see uh, also 2006 in uh, roman numerals i'm not sure hmm. oh, no, yeah back here yep here, here, on the here. back here that is cool to do I'm with sure roman numerals because it, it doesn't feel like i don't know numbers can be kind of boring roman numeral spices it up it feels a little bit more yeah and it, it looks really brand. much like the pattern on the other side on the other exhaust yeah. so it doesn't look i mean it looks very hidden it's a pretty cool so yeah here you actually can see 2006. you know we, cool. yep. we actually have a question from chat how easy is this device to clean Actually, it's very easy. Like you just, I use a a cloth and I just wipe it up with like a little bit of a seventy percent alcohol. Yeah. And all the all the fingerprints and um, all the the stain can easily go away. It's also quite actually resistant. Yeah. To fingerprints. We use a new coating on the back, so it's fingerprint resistant. Mm -hmm. A lot more compared to last year. So yeah. Okay. That is actually something I noticed because I have a last year Zephyrus Duo and I have a G seventeen from the twenty twenty one edition. And I feel like my Zephyrus Duo is always dirty. And I was handling the G17. Like, it always has the fingerprints on it. But the G17 is, like, pristine after playing around with it for a few hours. So, definitely really makes nice. a difference. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. It doesn't leave any There's fingerprints. There's no fingerprints. <laughs> now, if you're eating potato chips or something, you're just asking for trouble at that point. That's a different <laughs> That's a different. We shall story. try. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't think the viewers are going to like the noise. <laughs> <laughs> ASMR. Well, can, yeah. ASMR. ASMR experience. Back to this, huh? And last and week's yeah, stream... also the go ahead the RG logo still yeah uh, yeah lights on so if you so that is RGB yeah it actually lights it up yeah, yeah if you turn this one on it should be fine yeah we can yeah. actually um there there's a lot of RGB on this device in general there's the ROG logo on the back you can see the yeah. underglow on the camera there in the front and you can even see the bottom of the screen there that's really yep. cool that's but also a brand yeah, new addition to here. this year yeah that's like, cool it has a kind of subtle glow here to match all the RGB. And I really like it because it glows on the on the top of the keyboard. So you have extra like lighting uh, right. effects. It's really nice. And I believe that is exclusive to the SCAR. No other device has that? Correct, correct. Very yep. cool. And also this year, as you can see, we have a improved trackpad surface. So mm -hmm. it's now like 85% larger than yeah. last year. So that's also wow. a feature that's really appreciated. It's a very comfortable size like comfortable space to move on more precision and if you're like on the go you can just mm -hmm. bring it and use your uh use your hand to make like very pre uh, pre precise navigation here yeah it's pretty cool yeah and we've also on the software side we've mm -hmm. also improved the responsive nav of the of the trackpad so 
a lot of improvements there. Yep. It's it's and we can show you we actually have the oh yep. We have this the main part mm -hmm. with the translucent uh you can really see through it. Wow. Is there um is this just for the aesthetic feel so you can kind of see the board? Or is yeah, and we we try to give it a bit of a cyberpunk uh, styling to it, okay. and you can see as well. Like here, we can see very well the the status yeah, LEDs. Yeah, yeah. That is. They cool. also have a bit of a cyberpunk mm -hmm. type of a, a vibe, which I, I really like. Right, and that slash is yeah. very prominent um, in a lot of our branding, so that makes a lot of sense. Yep. Yeah. Very cool. The structure cool. is a little bit different, but we'll we'll see that later on. Right um and then so the laser etching we actually you sent me a video that we could yeah i gave you a little video this is really cool to watch i could watch this all day <laughs> <laughs> i had it programmed into the show but it doesn't want to play so i'll just drop it in full screen there we go yeah it's... you see the drill so that that yeah. white oh my so that light so is fast. super fast is this normal speed or is this sped up it is almost. Wow. That was cool. Yeah. The white streaks would be uh, very exciting too. <laughs> oh, I didn't even think about that. Um, <laughs> there's definitely people that would want that. People go nuts every time we release white editions of anything. But for I would, me, I will. I would. <laughs> I would go for white. <laughs> right. Right. Cool. Okay. So you know, just just talking about the device, we've we've seen the physical body. Um, I think the other thing, Jerome, you mentioned it already, is the display. We're we're now pumping the display up to three sixty. Is that is that correct? Correct, but only on the seventeen inch. <laughs> okay. Is there a reason why only the seventeen inch has that? Is there a limitation, or is it is is that a decision? There were some limitations. Yeah, definitely. Otherwise, we would have also yeah. put it up to 15 inch. That's interesting. Do you know if there's any? Do you know why? Do you, per chance, why the we can't make? Uh, I think it's a. Uh, I think there were no. Like it's already hard to to shrink uh, 360 hertz to a 17 inch form factor. So I think shrinking it even more to a 15 inch. There's probably just some kind of tearing or something. Some something doesn't work. But we never know. Maybe. We'll have it soon as well. Well, we'll ask the engineers. <laughs> now, this is the Question. world's fastest display on any laptop. It's the, wor the world's first 360 hertz laptop. And it's only the Correct. SCAR that has that. That's crazy. That's, oh. Yeah, and you also got like three millisecond response time. Yeah, that's yeah. very low. OK, that's mm -hmm. great. But yeah, I've played quite a lot of Valorant on it, and honestly, you done good. You know, yeah. just, just on that topic. <laughs> I feel like I'm even better. <laughs> well, just on that topic, like for anyone that's that's wondering how much of a difference that a, a one millisecond response time versus a three millisecond response time, because we do see those advertised on a lot of top panels. Um, it, it, as someone who plays a lot of FPS as Jerome, would you say that it's noticeable when you're going from one to three? Or would you rather have the three millisecond, 360 hertz display like all the time? I would rather get the 360 hertz display. I noticed that difference slightly more than I would uh, compared to refresh, okay. especially when it gets to like such a low numbers, like right. I can hardly make the difference. If you're talking three to eight or eight to 25, mm -hmm. then you can notice it very quickly. Right. But I think at least to the average eyes, I think mm -hmm. it's not too bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, three milliseconds, 360 hertz, it's already like the best spec well, you can get right, right. now. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's, it's just truly yeah. insane. Um, yep. and I think that's really what's going to drive a lot of people towards this laptop is just that, I mean, it has 360 hertz refresh rate. That's wild. Um, but there is a different version, <laughs> one, right? There, there is also a WQHD version. What does that one have? Yes. For specs? Uh, it has the, uh, 165 hertz, also three milliseconds response time. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so the, yeah, the WQHD is really a good compromise. Uh, mm. so you still get that really high refresh rate to play more competitive game, but you also get a higher resolution, higher pixel density. So it looks really sharp when you play more like a triple A game or in my case, Genshin Impact. <laughs> it looks really, really, really sharp on that screen. Yeah. The colors are amazing. Well, for me, I play a lot of like horror games, such as the new one on Xbox Game Pass. <laughs> it's called The Medium. 
Yeah, it actually looks pretty because I think it's a pretty graphic demanding game too. I just it watched the trailer for that. Yeah. I cannot wait to play it. It is so good. The storyline <laughs> is perfect. You should try. Between that and the new Resident Evil coming mm -hmm. out, I'm I'm like really pumped for this year. Um, yep. You cool. guys don't like to sleep to sleep at night, huh? Nope. <laughs> Man, I don't. No yeah, no horror games <laughs> do not bother me that way, but uh, yeah. they're really fun. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and, yeah, on the screen topic, I'll just one last note. We also increased the screen to ratio, um, but the screen to body ratio, sorry. So we went from 80 to 85%. So it gives you also a more immersive uh, look into your, your games. Does that mean less but bezel? Also, what does that exactly mean? Thinner yeah, bezel. You have a, a thinner bezel. Okay. And on top of that, as we made the device smaller, like it was even more, it, even harder to, um, to, re to increase that screen to body ratio. But, we still managed to do it mm -hmm. and i think it's yeah really good I yeah, almost... for me like if you play a lot of story games it's mm. like a really good add-on gives you a window mm. into another world yes <laughs> that's where the wqhd magic is oh one thing we didn't mention is those armor caps um oh yeah because we can see so them on the side and i know that's a, a new let me so you can easily change the armor caps like you can customize according to your mood or like your personality or you just want to show off. You can basically easily. do anything with it. Yeah. yeah so you just take it off. If I want to show off my Christmas mm -hmm. festivities, I could t theoretically have a Christmas armor. Oh, they're red and green next to each other. <laughs> well, you could. There you go. <laughs> you can 3D print your own. But like basically out of the box, you got three different caps. You get the, the default one, you get sil a silver one, and a translucent black. Mm -hmm. I can show it up. Oh, I like the translucent black. Is that what that one is? That yeah, one's that's cool. a 17 inch. Yeah, <laughs> this is 17 inch. Let me show it on 17 inch. I see. So they're slightly different yep. size for each. Just That makes sense. Yeah, for each. But the, b both of them are available on the website, so it, it's no problem. You mm -hmm. just have to select it. And those are all caps we 3D printed. So we basically use a third-party service called Shapeway, and they can do it out of anything, any material. So you can you could gold plate it if you want to be, you know, bling bling or. <laughs> wow. And okay. For me, I will go for the bling bling. <laughs> so yeah, so I can show a bit. Uh, this one looks a bit like a marble kind of texture. Mm -hmm. It is cool. Does it does it actually feel it's different kind of too? A wood. Wood yeah, it texture. feels different. Yeah, it's yeah. A kind of, I don't know, wood, wood don't know. marble texture. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got the more uh, rubber-like. Rubber -like. Mm -hmm. We have more plastic-like. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have all colors. You can uh, pretty much add any wording you want. Yep. And recently, uh, we announced a partnership with Misfits. And I think you can also, or soon you'll be able to also download the Misfit uh, official armor cap to put on your device if you're a fan of the, the that's really cool lol team or uh yeah you Overwatch considering team. this is you know the scar is really geared towards esports i mean when we're talking about 360 hertz refresh rate that is that's really only a refresh rate you're gonna you're gonna achieve in a game like counter-strike or, or valorant right there's not two yeah. in, in you know these top esports are the the locate the places where you're really going to benefit from the ultra high mm -hmm. refresh rate more than anything else so mm -hmm. Having those esports team logos, like a Misfits logo, or whatever uh, on your device, is really cool. It'll be really nice to see that uh, with the players having that built into their device. Yes. Yeah, and we also have a cool little Easter egg under the the cap, so you can see we have in Morse code we have the name of the the designer of the actual. Uh, oh, that's card. cool. And on the right, you have the the Google code, so you can see the 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 Asus headquarters office address on what? Google Map. <laughs> yeah, a lot, a, lo a lot of little cool stuff there. Going that is on. neat. You can like just explore yourself when you get a, your hands on it. I like you have a blue score yeah. now. Oh, <laughs> blue one. Every ounce of real estate is utilized in these devices. It seems like everything is thought about. That's really cool. I mean, why why not? The, the, it's it's there already, so why not? You know, put a little twist on it. Yeah, I personally like the purple one more. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, we've gone there from we an go. age of, of everybody <laughs> just slapping stickers all over their devices to devices like yes. this with the armor caps yeah. and you know RGB mm -hmm. becoming a big part of that that um, mm -hmm. flavor and that experience with your device. Now we've got the laser etching as well. 
Uh, now this laser etching is not like the an it's not enemy matrix, right? It's just a laser etching look. It's just a laser no, etching. It's not. Okay. Yeah. Correct. Okay. The enemy yeah, matrix. For that, you... mm. I was yep. gonna I was gonna say the enemy matrix is like its own display where you can basically create all kinds of animations and cool stuff that some of our other devices have. Um, but yeah, not not here. Now nope. just just talking about performance in these devices, um, what is the the side by side comparison? Are we looking at thirty eighties in, in both sizes or is the the fifteen inch uh, a little bit tuned down? No, correct. All they, they all have the same specs. So you can you could get a fifteen inch maxed out as well as a seventeen inch. So you can get the factory overclocked uh, forty nine hundred XS. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, eight core, sixteen threads, uh, thirty five watt TDP, and it can boost up to fifty four watts when the GPU is active. And wow. which is very specific to this device, it can boost up to eighty watts if the, the the GPU is not active. So this is also thanks to our new uh, five phase design on the CPU. So that's really, really exciting. That's very unique to this device. And both of them can go up to a 3080, uh, uh, yeah, RTX 3080 yeah, mobile mean. with a TGP of 115 watt and 20 watt extra uh, headroom for dynamic, uh, boost. dynamic boost. Yep. Yeah. And this was also possible uh, to, thanks to a new uh, seven phase design uh, on the GPU side. And these two can get up to 64, uh, gigabyte of DDR4, 3200 megahertz memory. And as you mentioned earlier, you can get uh, two terabytes M.2 SSDs in yeah, it, configured with Red Zero. So you have really, really fast That'll speeds on that fast. as well. Yeah. So you can like easily switch between your work or games anytime you want or yeah. stream. Yeah. Yeah. So this has everything. Ryzen 9, 3080, two terabytes of uh, M.2, mm -hmm. 64 gigs of RAM, when you put that much power in a small device, what does the cooling look like? Everybody wants to know how are we <laughs> cooling this beast? What are the hot spots like? Like how do we actually keep this thing running well? We can actually show you the key cards here. Yep, we have some. We brought the cooling. Uh, you guys are so prepared. Camera. I love it. And I also have it. <laughs> also have the the new fans. So basically, this is the brand new uh, cooling module. Sorry, wrong way. <laughs> I can hold it. Yeah. yeah. I'm getting confused with the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so basically this year we have uh, six copper pipes. Uh, we have four fan outlets, which is not new. But we also, thanks to this uh, new design, we can uh, lower the noise level by three uh, decibels That's in good. turbo mode, which yeah. is quite a big difference, especially if you consider that the size is smaller. So like we have less space to, to cool it down, but we still manage to make it quieter, which is... I think three, three amazing. DB, three DB in <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. and a lot of this is thanks to the liquid metal that we now brought to the AMD lineup. So specifically on the scar, uh, from some of the studies we did internally, we show that the, the temperature can go down up to 16 degrees Celsius uh, compared to regular thermal paste. So it's a huge difference on this specific device. Yeah, we and also have like different a new design for the fans. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, uh, we actually uh, changed it into like 84 blades compared to last year's model. Mm -hmm. It's like one blade more. Yep. And then we also improved the air flows by 20 uh, to 35 percent. Yeah, 35 percent uh, while we generate like 3 dB less noise mm -hmm. from the fan. Yeah, so basically it's called the arc flow. It's a very new design that we created. And instead of pushing the air to the tip of the blade, it circulates around. So every single blade has a different shape and a different size. Mm -hmm. So it's oh. like the, the air is dancing around the fan instead of just being pushed to the edge. It's a little bit more so that's random. that's something really, really cool right. and really unique to RG. Yeah. That's fascinating. So what, ab this what about dust? I mean, that's always a big thing with fans. We got we to gotta worry about dust. Do we have anything to help? With I that, think we have a self cleaning. N not on the uh, uh, okay, not on the streaks. <laughs> so if somebody wanted to go in to clean the fan, is that accessible? Chat's actually asking about that. Uh, actually, I don't think it's uh, recommended. <laughs> okay, yeah. so so we're hope so, but we obviously are creating this to be dust resistant, and it's not of course, of flat, course. But so no, it's not going to be super easy to open up and get to the fan. It's all designed to be self-contained and self-sustained, um, mm -hmm. which is is more and more common nowadays. I feel. Um, 
Okay. So above all that is the keyboard. Yep. So we can actually show you. Take that out of the way. Another chat is how hard will it be to upgrade the MVME? Oh, it's very easy. I mean, no, this is for oh. <laughs> Is it just underneath the battery or? No, 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 no. It's very, I, I don't have a, a screwdriver right now, so I can't show you, but we'll probably uh, show you in a, in a different podcast later on. Sure. But basically this is, this is not new from this year, but from last year already, we had the easy opening uh, lid at the bottom. So basically you can really just use a basic uh, Phillips screwdriver mm -hmm. to remove all the screws and the one at the bottom right of the device is an easy pop-up screw. So as you uh, screw it off, it the, the lid will s slightly uh, come up. So you really can easily open the laptop. You don't need the prior to or And once you uh, once you open it, uh, both the, the SSD and the RAM are easily accessible like right away. Okay. So you don't need to move any components. You can just swap it out and then How many, close the lid. And... You set up the 64 gigs of RAM. Is it four slots or two sticks? Two slots. Two, two slots. slots. Two okay. sticks. Correct. And you also have two uh, two NVMe slots, two SSD nice. slots. Nice. Very good. All right. On to the keyboard. Because this is another Back to the keyboard. <laughs> new new thing that we've uh, upgraded, updated, brought to the next level. I know we've we've been... Correct. Slowly. And we can show it to you outside of the laptop, which that is, is something cool. that you don't usually see. Yeah. It's very thin if wow. you look at it. It is really thin. And yeah, it's optical mechanical and it's extremely thin. If you, you can compare it to the Strix G, which is a membrane keyboard. Yeah. But you can hardly see the difference in terms of size. Yeah, it's pretty much identical as far as I can tell. And <laughs> you get that nice tactile it. feel. It's super clicky. Now we can just put a quick video on screen to show everyone exactly. This is kind of just a, a demonstration of how it all works. Exactly. And again, that's optical meaning it's light that's being rent that's rendering your keystroke rather than metal connectors. Yep. So the moment you press on the key, there is a light beam that activates the signal. So it's really, really cool. And I think in the past we had many uh, different attempts at bringing the uh, mechanical keyboards to the RG laptops, especially on the bigger, bigger devices, the desktop mm -hmm. replacement. But I think this year we really achieved the, the, I mean, in my opinion, the best one, the best balance. Uh, Cool. And also, yeah, optical mechanical is the new the new cool thing. <laughs> so. Do you know like how fast it is compared to mechanical? I think it's a lot faster. Uh, I think it's zero point. It's very, very, very little. But like, yeah, also, you know, like a lot of most of the mechanical keyboard, they have a, a lot of different moving parts. Mm -hmm. So it takes a little bit of time to to uh, activate. But th since this is using light, you don't have any uh, any latency yet, so to speak. Mm -hmm. And yeah, um, another really good perk about this is that because there are a lot less parts and because it uses light, you don't need as much uh, physical contact to get it to work. So this also increased the, the durability of the keyboard by quite, quite a That's lot. That's true. This is also a very cool feature. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, yeah, just just kind of bringing up the the website, we can look at this here as well. Again, you know, we're looking at what the optical keyboards, they're per key RGB lighting, mm -hmm. 100 million key press lifetime, the 0.2 millisecond response time. I think a standard switch is like 0.4 or 0.6. Uh, I think it's 0.5 on the top of my head. 0.5. Okay. Um, but yeah, so that's obviously we're, we're bringing it's in. We're you know we're talking about a fraction of a millisecond, but mm -hmm. when we're creating a device for esports, when we're creating a, a device for playing at the highest level, those milliseconds add up. We're talking about um, you know the display, the milliseconds there, the the mouse milliseconds, the keyboard millis, everything adds up, and the fact that the team continues trying to shave off as much you know latency as possible mm -hmm. everywhere is. What I love about RRG, really, sincerely, it's like, it's just relentless pursuit of perfection. Mm -hmm. We're giving you basically no more excuses to be, to be bad. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> Crap. Well, then I should get the. I should Shots get the fired. <laughs> Jerome's going to be real sad that one day he decides he's going to play Valorant with me and he has to carry me because. <laughs> I'm an old. He's already really sad that like, he has to hurt. carry me. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, the keyboards are cool. I'm glad you guys were able to bring those broken out yeah. versions of them. And yeah, we can also la we later can on show, show the Strix right? one. Yeah, the Strix keyboard. Oh, okay. This is a lot, a lot less noisy. Mm, you don't get the crispy sound. Crispy. You can hardly hear it. Yeah. Crispy. Crispy is a nice sound. Yeah. This is the second episode of Pulse in a row <laughs> where we've done like ASMR mic action. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we showed off the optical reds on the Strix Scope last week. The Strix oh. Scope RX. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in love with that keyboard. I'm using it right now. Um, but I'm I'm eager to get the blue switches. I'm going to be honest. Oh, I also use the, the Scope with the red switches in, uh, in the office. It's really nice. It's very fluid. It's just seamless. And it, yeah, it doesn't annoy my coworkers as much no. as blue switches. <laughs> <laughs> well, you turn on your fan on turbo mode. Oh, uh, it happens. <laughs> All right. Um, so when we're talking about optical mechanical switches, I think of these lights that are always active. Is that how it works? They're always active under the key kind of deal. And we've got the RGB for all the lights. Are, is there more power consumption with this kind of switch than a traditional mechanical switch? No, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry. Really? None? No, it's OK. It's, yeah. <laughs> Take your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you got something in your throat, clear it out. Because, you know, my, my first intuition would just be that this would use more power for this style of keyboard. We'll get there. I, I don't have any specific number off the top of my head, but... <laughs> it's nothing... But I think we do it, emphasize... It's very minimal. Like, we do emphasize that it doesn't affect, like, battery mm. consumption more. Um, okay, well, just speaking about the battery, what are we looking at here for... What's our average battery length we'd we'd be uh hoping to so achieve so that's also a big increase from this year so we increased the battery side to 90 watt hour which is still acceptable to take in the plane and this gives like oh. really really good oh. <laughs> those videos decided they wanted to play again okay cool uh, why not <laughs> <laughs> yeah so if you decide like you, you just used to doing web browsing mm -hmm. uh it actually uh came up to come up to like uh 12.6 hours yeah you can get over yeah. 10 hours now over which is hours. amazing when you consider uh, mm -hmm. now yeah. yeah that it's like a full out gaming machine and also we uh we got the type c charging mm -hmm. That's uh, a, type c yeah. pd charging we design. brought type c uh, 100 watt type c charging to the strix uh, mm -hmm. lineup this year as well it's actually mm -hmm. on so you can, every laptop yeah, now that's actually, which is really cool yes yeah. correct mm -hmm. yeah and yeah, this is amazing. And also a brand new feature of this here is the fast charge. So you can basically charge 50% of your battery in 30 minutes, which is amazing. So That's if you insane. think about it, if you charge your battery for 30 minutes, you can use your laptop afterwards for up to even higher than five, five hours. hours. Yeah, wow. So you get five hours out of 30 minutes charge, which is, I think, That's crazy. Great. really, really big. Yeah. It's enough, like you can just bring your Type-C charger. Yeah. And then and charge it on the go. Yeah, the fast yeah. charge works on both Type C and on the regular adapter, yeah. so that's mm -hmm. also really really cool. I, I fly, or before the whole pandemic, I flew to California a lot. That's about a five six mm -hmm. hour trip. So I get to the airport, charge for thirty minutes. I'm set for the flight. Yeah, game sure. on. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Well, that's what can... I like to hear. Yeah, that's amazing. And also a new feature that we added this year is the iGPU function in Armory Crate. So you can basically toggle on and off the, the DGPU so you can increase the battery life even mm -hmm. more. Because sometimes there's like a little app or a little uh, service that activates your GPU for whatever reason. Mm -hmm. But with this feature, you can like turn off any, any kind of nuisance like this. Mm -hmm. And you can be sure that you maximize your battery life. Mm -hmm. And yeah. That's pretty cool, I think. Yeah, yeah, that's great. It's really big. A lot of different ways to manage it and maximize it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, I think there is a way for you to cap your battery charging limit. Yep, yeah. in my Asus, actually. This is yeah. not a new feature, but I don't okay. think many people know about this. Mm -hmm. But basically, in my Asus, you can choose like how much 
battery do you want to charge? So you can like leave it at maximum uh, battery life, like 100%. You can leave it at 80% to, to preserve that your battery doesn't uh, get damaged over time. Or you can even put it at 50% if you yeah. leave your laptop plugged in mm -hmm. all the time and you mm -hmm. just don't care about battery. A lot of people don't know that with battery technology, and this is true for all batteries, right? Whether it be an electric mm -hmm. vehicle or your smartphone, um, but fast charging at the highest points is actually pretty bad for it. Um, you can mm -hmm. you can fast charge pretty safely towards like the mid tier towards like 50%. That's why if you're wondering why do we stop the fast charging at 50%? And that's really to protect your battery. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, even with the RG Phone 3, for example, you can actually do scheduled charging. The phone is a bit different where you're gonna go to sleep at night and wake up and you can say, hey, I plan on waking up at 7 a.m. My phone is gonna be fully charged at 7 a.m. And the MyAsus app lets you do some some similar things like that. You can cap it so you like you said your phone, yeah. your laptop will only charge up to eighty percent, and that's really to protect the longevity of the battery, so it'll be mm -hmm. strong and healthy mm -hmm. for years and years to come. Because mm -hmm. I'm sure we've all had mm -hmm. that phone that gets burnt out after two or three years, or mm -hmm. even a laptop, it'll get burnt out after two or three years of heavy use. It happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially in the past, uh, I've had a lot of issues with that, <laughs> but yeah. now, not as much. Yeah. Um, you know, we actually got a question. Can we turn a G17 on and hold it up to yes. the mic to hear the fans? A Strix G or a Scar? Um, they asked for the G17, which we haven't got to yet, but oh. we can we can start with the Scar. We can do them both. Let's start with the Scar. Yeah. I only have 15 inch for that Strix G, but yeah. That's okay. I uh, b b well, I can go get a. I mean, it it doesn't. I got a G seventeen right over here. I can go grab it if 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 we need it for the demonstration. <laughs> fresh off. Yeah. So I can. Uh, fresh off the on. truck. So the the thing is, now this year we added the zero dB technology. So if the temper the, the the components temperature is under sixty degrees Celsius, the fans are going to be off. So. You're not gonna hear anything, basically. Well, fire it up. Let's log in. Like it is fired up. You got you got any got any games we can launch? Uh, sure. What do you got installed? I can. Let you got check. Valorant on there. You got. I do have Valorant. Oh, <laughs> I know you too well. <laughs> I don't... Uh, let me bring it up. We're gonna get there. Oh, I have to log in. <laughs> I guess Cyberpunk would be the real test, right? Yes, but I don't have it on here, so I, I can't really you help you with that. That's fine. Right now, it could run it. it. It can. It can. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. The scar has got no more power there. than than most lap than most desktops that people have at home. It's it's a beast. Yeah, but the zero db technology that you're talking about is really cool though because yeah i mean when, it's a big improvement when we think about like the average user when they're buying a laptop yes they want to know the specs they want to know what the device can do they also want to know how loud is it and they want to know mm -hmm. how good is the cooling and it sounds like we've answered, we've improved all of those things with this device correct so in turbo mode now you got up to 45 db mm -hmm. so that's not that loud and you get the full out performance. And if you want to really, if you really want to squeeze every single ounce of performance out of it, you can still use the manual mode and set the fans to a hundred percent. So if you don't care about the noise, if you use headset like myself, you can really go all out on this. Can, can we hear anything? Is it, is it the, the fans? It's loading. <laughs> okay. Okay. Cause I hear nothing so far. Yeah, no, so far nothing. Yeah. I tried. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried. Cool. Pretty amazing. Mm -hmm. All right. Um. So just let's uh kind of transition over to the Strix G then, because I think you guys have a G15 on hands. We have three yeah. actually. Oh my goodness. All we have all the, the colors. We have all the colors. <laughs> Let me. So. 
if you don't mind, maybe just before we switch, I can sure. show a quick comparison uh, on your year for the, the size. Like I mentioned, oh, yeah. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the scar is much smaller. So I brought last year's device to show you quickly. So you have both 17 inches here and the 15 inch. So they're, oh, I think so it's <laughs> That's last struggling. year on, on the right side, it looks like. Yeah, yeah it's yeah, a little yeah. bit too zoomed in, the camera. Yeah, so yeah, maybe never mind then. <laughs> <laughs> it is 5% it is smaller uh, for the 17 inch and 7% smaller for the uh, 15 inch. So that's quite a, a nice improvement in my opinion. Let me take away the scar and we can move on to 60. Sure. Okay. There we go. So I got three colors over here. They have like very cool names. Like this is a <laughs> original black, like OG black. This is the Electropunk special mm -hmm. edition. Yes. And this is the Eclipse Gray. I think you also got the e e Eclipse Gray for your G17. Yes, that's oh. the one. <laughs> I really like the pink one. <laughs> I really like the pink one too. Because you know, like the pink one, you actually got different patterns. I, I like over here. this Electropunk a lot more than last year's because it just feels like it has a little bit more of its own character to it. Even the armor cap is like True. Mm -hmm. a little bit more unique. Because we had Electropunk last True. year. But this, like you said, there's a lot of like cool markings on the device there. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. It actually gives you like a gamer centric vibe because it mm. says something like um just one more game yeah, like, game first work after you can see like, like ace yeah, yeah. ace <laughs> a lot of like epic gamer a lot mm -hmm. of cool patterns yeah. as well mm -hmm. and also the inside you can also see the patterns over here Th this pattern is actually called cyber text yeah. so you you, uh, you see the pure like shimmering effect over here that on the slash yeah, yeah, that's actually and, on uh, the on the screen right now behind our cameras. You can see the cyber text scrolling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it actually shimmers according to your angle. Yeah, you, you like you can't really see the patterns on this angle, but another angle you can see it clearly, like yeah. this. Yeah, pretty cool. And I really like also the matching uh, keycap color, mm -hmm. the overall like pick theme. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. Yeah. So that's Electropunk. Yep, and yep. You, mm -hmm. all of them at the bottom, the the actual rubber pad is matching the armor cap. Oh, really? And also for Electropunk, if you buy it, I think it comes with a bundle of peripherals. Yep. That depends on the, the region, of course. Oh, uh, OK, yeah. yeah. Depending on the region, you have mm -hmm. a, a full bundle with it. Yeah, you have headsets, you have keyboards, and you have mouse, mouse pad, which I really like. I'm using it right now. <laughs> Yeah. The full desk mat, the big one. Sorry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah. desk mat. Yeah, it's yeah. massive mm -hmm. and yeah. it's really nice. Okay. So this is the uh this is the original black mm -hmm. and this is the eclipse gray. For the patterns you can actually see it's different. This oh, okay. uh these ones have the ROG characters. It's also I think also laser etched. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, you can see like little ROGs, like full slashed over here, and also inside on the keyboards. It's the same angle as the Electropunk, just different patterns here. Yeah. Is my WASD Oopsie. also the same as that? I didn't even notice before. There you go. No, mine's different. It's because the, there are two different types of keyboard. One, uh -huh. You can get the per key or you can get the four zone mm -hmm. keyboard. This yeah. is a four zone keyboard. Yeah. You have the per mm -hmm. key, I think. Mine's superior. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And yeah, you also get the improved trackpad on this one. Mm. Which yeah, is it's larger and it's a little bit a bigger. A very big improvement. Right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you get a lot of old, yeah, those nice Easter eggs. Just kind of like looking at the differences with the 15 inch versus the 17. The 17, you're getting um, the numpad on the side. Yep. Um, is that the only difference? 
pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Percolating on this on one. On the keyboard side. So we can. Cool. Yeah, maybe a little bit more to go away. So. Yeah. Go. Yeah. No, no, they're, they're really nice looking. Um, just kind of looking at a, a kind of overview of what these devices pack compared to the SCAR. Um, mm -hmm. RTX 3070, Ryzen 9 5900, so all the way to the top there, up to 32 gigs of RAM, one terabyte SSD, that's an NVMe. Um, Correct. And the display is... You actually you actually got a new option Ooh. for WQHD display, uh, also 165 hertz, three milliseconds. Yep, uh, it's the same time. as the SCAR. Yeah. yeah, same as the SCAR. It's a really good panel. Mm -hmm. I really love yeah. it. It's one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. And if you want to go um, like uh, a higher refresh rate, you can also opt for the full HD, 300 uh, hertz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's what that one is. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same as last year. Yeah, same hey, as last year. I'm so mm -hmm. excited for this, this this device because I've never played above 144 hertz. <laughs> I've been playing <laughs> I've been playing 4K 144 hertz for a while, which is amazing. It's truly amazing. Um, but I'm excited to try those esports refresh rates. Maybe I'll finally win a game of Valorant. <laughs> maybe <laughs> i'm kidding i win plenty of games um cool but games <laughs> <laughs> but yeah all right um now what other kind of key differences are there between the, the strix g series and the strix scar i mean besides the design i think on the strix g for the design wise we try to give it more of an athletic a little bit more athletic look so we want to kind of branch out as well mm-hmm and I mean, it's the same for this car, but that's something we also didn't mention. That's pretty cool. But the rubber is actually inspired by the sneakers material. Mm -hmm. huh. So we try to give it a more street style fashion yep, vibe. Yep. Yeah. On top of that, because we know that people who want this, they have like a, a very particular sense of styling. They mm -hmm. like RGB, they like mm -hmm. colors. Mm. They like the game centric lifestyle. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So that's also one of the reasons we brought those pads. It's one for the design, and also it stabilizes the, 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 the right. device. Right, it's not going to slip. So that, yeah, when you're playing, it's yeah. not going to slide mm -hmm. on your desk. It's really nice. And it gives you a little bit extra height, so the hair can really flow. Yeah, it also it. helps with the air cooling. What about the size and weight compared to the SCAR? A little bit lighter or what? Just a little bit lighter. So I think this... From the top of my, just I think a hundred gram uh, lighter. Oh, okay, okay. From the top of my head, I think the scar is at two point four, and uh, the strix is at two point three kilos yeah. for the fifteen inch. Mm -hmm. For seventeen inch, it's actually two point seven kilogram. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. So that's also reduced compared to last year. Uh, yes. From the top reduced of my head, reduced like probably point three kilograms. Yeah. So mm -hmm. that's that's quite. That's quite good. Yeah, it's quite good. I can actually hold it with one hand. Now, <laughs> <laughs> performance is obviously very good, but not quite as high as the SCAR. Does this mean the cooling solution is any different, or is it pretty much the same? Oh, it's pretty much the same. Uh, yeah. We basically yeah, we maxed out this one at 3070. Because, uh, right. I mean, the Strix G is aimed at maybe uh, someone who doesn't want to put as much money out, maybe. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bit more accessible in that regard. It's I mean, more that, accessible, definitely. That's why we have and different have... lines of laptops, right? I mean, mm -hmm. there's different mm -hmm. tiers, tiers of everything. Yeah, so uh, Strix Scar is like the top tier premium, um, like all out. And this is just that one step below. Still going to be able to handle pretty much any game you throw at it because the 3070 yeah. is effectively a 2080 Ti, right? I mean, there's I can't think of a game a 3070 can't run, especially WQHD mm -hmm. 165 hertz or 300 hertz. You're going to mm -hmm. get those kind of results that you want. So, um, I mean, the specs speak for themselves, really. So that's, that's really nice. But the cooling, if it's the same as the SCAR, I mean, it looks like we've got a really nice cooling solution with, with, with a nice, Definitely. quiet um you know cooling system built into that the low db yes cool yeah you get liquid metal you get all, all the cool upgrades so that's a big deal people don't um really until you try a device that has liquid metal on the cpu um and this is the first time we've ever put it on amd cpu so now we're looking mm -hmm. at 5900s with that superior cooling it's going to make a really big difference with the performance and the maximum performance on these devices definitely so you get on one hand you get lower temperature you can clock higher 
you can get a less noisy device. So it all in all, it's a very big win all across the board. So we're like super excited to bring it to AMD as well this year. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Um, I think the battery story is pretty much the same as the star. Yep. So it's we don't story. Yeah. yeah. Any what hours? Okay. Yeah, it's the same across the mm -hmm. Strix family. I, I think you get the... fast charge. You get uh, ninety watts. Yep. The USB Type C. Difference is the design, the keyboard, yeah. which is membrane, as I mentioned before. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Here. And panel option, you have a little bit less panel options on this. Uh, I mean, you don't have the 360 hertz. Oh, 300 otherwise... is still like more than enough for the average person. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> yep. And yeah, the keyboard, this one is the uh, four zone. So it's membrane. It's okay. also very, very good. You have a... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. one of my favorites. Last, well. last thing we haven't talked about yet is the price points of these two devices. Okay. Okay, so that uh, I have to, <laughs> to think deep because I forgot. Okay. For I think Scar, Scar, it's about, it starts from 2000, yeah, 2200 US dollars, I think. I think. Sounds from about right. Yeah, my head. I think it's 2200. 2200 mm. in the US, I think. Mm -hmm. And okay. for Strix, I think it's around 100. No, no, no. I think it's 1500. 15 to 18, 1500. I believe. Starts from 1600 and then to. 18. I did read about that one, so. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's not bad. 1500 to 1800 like in that price range for a device really that has good. a like, you know, a, a Ryzen 9 and a RTX 3070. I mean, yeah. And like they they're an insanely mm -hmm. quiet and the temperature is really good. Like if you play on it, you cannot feel any zone on the on, on the um, C part on the keyboard where it's slightly like elevated. It's really cool mm. all across the entire device. So Cool. That's something that's really, really nice. Anything else you guys can think of that we might not have touched in terms uh, of the story of upgrading these devices mm -hmm. and bringing them to that next level in 2021? Do you want to talk about how do you easily upgrade? Uh, I already like mentioned, oh. like quickly mentioned. I, I, yeah. I think we'll have a, a proper teardown later down the mm -hmm. line. Yeah, course, I think so. Uh, we always do. Yeah, I didn't bring any any screwdrivers. Yeah. Otherwise, I would have shown you. But it's it, it's like a two minute process. Uh, pr basically, anybody. Can what is that like? Six screws components. on the back that you, that you just take off I and you... a little bit more than six screws. But okay, yeah. it's not too bad. I mean, either way, it's really easy to open. Right. You don't yeah. even. You just need fingernails and just slip it open. <laughs> yeah, because some I... laptops you really have to get in there and like bend it, and you feel like you're gonna break it, <laughs> yeah. and that's not a good feeling when it's like, am I gonna break my my bottom frame right now? Like. And you, that's what you, happened to me not long ago. Oh, I tried geez. to uh, upgrade uh, an old Asus computer of my wife, and I uh, accidentally bent some <laughs> some parts, and no. I couldn't get it back together. Oh, so, no. so I ended up building a new PC for. Her. <laughs> I was gonna say you slept on the couch that night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would have yeah, maybe preferred to sleep on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's less expensive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, well, she got lucky. Yeah. Any any shout outs you guys want to give before we sign off? I mean, just a, a big thank you to the whole uh, Strix team, uh, SPM, the, my coworkers, the whole marketing team. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, it's actually Lunar New Year coming up. Oh, yeah. So we're going to wish you guys all a very happy Lunar New Year. And <laughs> after that, we'll see you again. I think it's the year mm -hmm. of the, the ox this year, ox? isn't it? Yeah. Year of the ox. Year of Even the ox. I know that. Mm -hmm. Come on. I saw the Overwatch trailer. <laughs> 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 I didn't. <Yeah. laughs> so. Well, thank you guys for joining me here to to show off these new devices. I'm actually really pumped to, to game on the G17 tomorrow. I'm um, gonna be doing uh, some, some streaming with it over the next few weeks, and it's again my first foray into it. that super high refresh rate <laughs> gaming. So I'm I'm really pumped, um, guys. I thank you all. Uh, wait to uh, yeah, wait ahead. to hear your thoughts on the 300 hertz uh, display. Yeah, I'm actually See getting uh, <laughs> one of our 360 hertz monitors as well for next week wow. so i'm gonna i'm gonna be spoiled wow. yeah i'm getting all the the fun toys these you. next few weeks <laughs> so, um so that's gonna be a lot of fun but uh that's gonna do it here for our episode of rg pulse everyone thank you for tuning in and we'll be back with many more shows obviously you guys yep. will be celebrating the lunar new year for you know it's, a, it's like a good it's a good long holiday that's a big that's a big deal it's like a christmas 
Yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah, yeah it's uh, yeah. it's about seven, eight days. So yeah. that's the biggest. Yeah, that's the biggest holiday for you guys, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Um, so I hope you guys have a lovely festive time. Happy Lunar New Year to to all. Thank you. And Thank you. You too. Thank you. To everyone else, GGS. We'll see you next time. Yep. <laughs>